All right, let's go over what we're looking at in gold versus crude. I always tell traders, and when I was a guest speaker at the Las Vegas trade show, I had over almost 6,000 traders around the world, I was trying to explain to them there's only two market conditions you're going to see on any given market. I don't care if you trade futures, stocks, Forex, index, ETS, it doesn't matter what you look at. For it doesn't matter, it's, it's in currency, it's either a trend or a chop market. Chop is range. So when you sit down at your trading desk, this is the first thing you got to ask yourself. The market is very easy to understand. It's either going to be in a range market or a trend market. The beautiful thing with my trend chart, you're looking at gold to your far left here and gold or crude to your right. The beautiful thing about this trend chart, I have several ingredients built into this trend chart. It's not a standard Rinko bar. This has a lot of things that must agree. What it shows is, since I was a small order execution trader, I used to trade against institutional traders, what I found out is order flow creates swings in the market. It's everything. Order flow is everything in the market. So what I did is I came up with a trend chart to keep our mind right, to make sure we're on the right side of the market. Ninja 8's allowed me to program this, so this works in all markets. So now it's very easy for me to see if I'm in trend or chop. And if I can understand if I'm trend or chop, I just, I'm 50% there on getting my trade correct. But you do not want to go against this trend chart. You get, go against this trend chart. I got so many supply and demand indicators built into this trend chart for it to turn red and it to turn green. You go against it, you're probably going to get stopped out. It's very, very effective. And it's a long, longer term Rinko on top of that. So what is done so far this morning, the trend, you can see this is crude. It's been in a hard trend. I got three moving averages on there. Moving averages to me are absolutely worthless. They can't count for support and resistance. You don't know if it's going to stop on the 200, 220, 50, 55, 89 moving average, the magical 20 EMA, and 8. It doesn't matter. They're worthless, but they're great for trend direction. They let you know with my, with my trend chart if we're chop or range. I can clearly see I got three moving averages on here, a small, an intermediate, and a longer term MA. If they are flat or sideways horizontal like gold right now, you know you're in a chop market. And that right there tells you as a trader you cannot take Fibonacci retracements. You can only trade market profile, sell the high, buy the low, what's been doing this morning. Vice versa, crude, it tells you if you take any shorts on crude right now, you deserve to get stopped out. You're going against all the algorithms out there. You're going to get some banks. You're going to get some hedge funds. You're going to get some prop firms. Why? Because I got all these supply and demand indicators built into my trend chart. So they're already built into those candles. This isn't a standard candle open versus high closed candle. I got filters built into those candles. So if it's green, more demand than supply. If it's red, more supply than demand. If it turns red like it did here against the overall trend on the trend chart, that means I got counter trend traders. Look for the first retracement, which it did. It came down to my symmetry dots here, and we had a nice trade. Got pulled in market delta. That's the last big trade there this morning. Now we got rolling position traders coming again. I got some counter trend traders coming in. I got 40 support and 63. We're going to see if we bounce on the retracement chart. All right, so that's trend. Trend tells us if we take any sells at all, we deserve to lose because it's clearly above all three of my MAs. And the easy way to tell is look at the open versus close, the body of the candle. We've been closing above them all morning. It's just been a buyer's market ever since 350 this morning. And that's a great buy. Once it closed red, look for the first retracement. It's got to come within a couple ticks of symmetry. Right there's my symmetry dots. Got to pull it in with market delta this morning. At 530. Right there is my trade. It's got to close a partial candle bar inside right there on my small MA. That created a small stop, two ticks below the swing low. There you go. Then it came down to my symmetry dots again. It pulled us in here. Stop loss, two ticks below the swing low. And that nice pullback. Now we're trying to do it again. We're trying to third time around, see if we come down here. It's 69 right now. It needs to get down within a couple ticks of 63. I'm looking for the 40 bounce because of market profile confluence. But the reason I'm doing this video, I have a lot of videos on how to trade these SIM dots and how to trade the Momo chart. Just play those. I'm not going to go into those charts right now. I, I just did two big videos on them on the website. 
before these videos so you can replay those videos how to trade a retracement chart how to trade a momo chart there's one specific way i trade those two trades because on the trend chart no matter what market we trade we only have two setups we don't look more than two setups that's it only two setups that's it we have a retracement trade and a momentum trade on crude that we're trading this morning so replay those videos at daytradingthefutures.com and we'll tell you how exactly we get into the exact bar where we place our stops I wanted this video more or less for chop versus range though I mean chop versus trend if you're trending higher if you're trending trending up we're looking for a retracement trade and a momo trade if we're chop like crude gold right now see gold hasn't been pulled in yet look at market delta see market delta we had a sell here this morning we buy and sell the high got pulled in there bought low value area ignore the blue ignore Fibonacci retracements sold the high here we're still riding below still going down it has not turned here we go it's easier to see this is how we use market delta there's our pull-in bar on here on that bar partial candle close above our small MA partial candle close here's our last sell on gold you can see it's working out real nice and like I said stop placement no matter what it's got to be either two ticks above the swing high at the swing high or if you want to be very conservative with your stops if you pull yourself in with this bar Find out where the high of that bar is, and you can go a real small stop right there because that's your entry bar, the next bar at the open, this one. You can have real small stops that way for big trades, possible trades right there. So that was the entry bar. Oops. Right here. That's the last entry bar on gold because it pulled itself in. You can see we're still riding down on gold because what did it say do? It said sell the high by the low. Sell high by the low. All right, now we're breaking out. We're breaking out of HVA. What I tell traders to do to take the first retracement, if you want to take the first retracement, then you're allowed to take Fib Arrows. We just had one that fired right there. If you want to take that trade, and you almost got to your first target if your target was 10, 28, 10, it actually hit 10 ticks exactly if you wanted to take that first break retest. All right, so that's, that's trend versus chop. Chop, very simple. You sell the high by the low. You want to sell the high by the low. Very simple. Trend, you just want to buy retracements and momentum trades. This far right chart, momentum trades are only used if we touch that small MA on an intra bar retest. Retracement trades are only used if you have an opposite color candle that comes in, which is coming in now. That's the only time we're going to look to buy when it comes within two ticks of symmetry dots to get pulled in the trade. But you can clearly see chop versus trend, totally different markets, right? If it's chop, you form a symmetrical wedge, two higher lows, two lower highs. Buy the low, sell the high till we break out. You take the first retracement. You can get short on that if you want. So here's our sell up here on gold. It's still running. That's our short for market profile getting pulled in. We had some buys down here, a couple buys. There's your short. It just broke, retested, and we had a fib arrow there if you wanted that also. All right? 